hello guys welcome once again to this youtube channel crypto hope tv on today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do your own research i know as a newbie in the crypto space you may be hearing about dyoil and you don't actually know the meaning well sit back and complete this video and i'm i'll show you you are going to fully understand what it means to do your own research in the cryptocurrency space. So let's get to it. Well, if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I would really appreciate you give us a thumbs up by what? Liking our video and also subscribing to our YouTube channel so that whenever we upload these videos, you're going to be the first to what? To get them. So without wasting much time, let's get down to it. Well, before you do your research on cryptocurrency or any project or any coin, you actually have to what make use of the certain equipment by your what side. One of them is your Google. You could use Google and do some vital research. The first thing you have to do online is you search for the website of the particular coin you want to what research on so as you can see for today's video i've chosen to research about reef so when you go to google you type in the particular project google will always give you the answer you're looking for so let's say reef chain as i clicked on it as you can see the first the first result that popped up here is the website for the what the particular coin i was looking for so on your own side it may not be the first result it may be coin market cap you understand because coin market cap is a a particular place where we go for what extensive research on cryptocurrency so there are actually two places where to go for extensive research on any project okay we have coin market cap and also we have what coin gecko so these are the two of them and whenever you're doing your research you have to what make use of these two okay so as you can see this is coin market cap actually training here so when you click on it it will take you to this page for the particular project you're looking for okay so aside from that immediately you search for the coin you are looking for you click on the url and it takes you to the official website now you interact with the website you go through every information on the website you try to understand it and what know how useful it may be for the crypto market space because everything about cryptocurrency is built around utility though a lot of persons do feel that a coin could e easily pump without having any significant utility but i tell you no most coins will do well when you know their tokenomics now when you talk about tokenomics you're talking about the tokens economics that is the tokens supply the tokens the, when you mean the to token supply we talk about the total supply of that particular coin you need to know the circulating supply of the particular coin and you also need to know what the vesting period that is how this coin is going to be released to what to the investors and also to the members of the particular what community or the chain the developers so these are vital things you need to pay adapt information to so now we're going to interact with the what with the website now you as you can see they have what we call Reef app. You click on it, though we are not going there yet. So you scroll down and you what? You under try to understand what they have to what to offer. Okay, so reliable, extensible, efficient, and fast. So this is how they got their name because they claim they have what the the most reliable coin in the market and they are extensible efficient and fast well every new crypto cryptocurrency investor would actually love the idea of any coin that is actually fast so you would want to what jump into it immediately you head what fast but i'll tell you no 
you have to continue doing your research so that you have a, so many reasons for joining or for investing in that particular project. So as you can see, these are what the various exchanges where this word particular coin is listed on. So now, Binance is one of the biggest exchange in the world. When we talk about exchanges as a crypto newbie, we're talking about the centralized exchange, which is the CEX, centralized exchange. There are two different types of exchange in the world. We have the centralized exchange, that's CE, centralized, and we have the decentralized exchange, which is DECE. So for the centralized exchange, we call it the SEX. CEX and for the decentralized exchange we call it the DEX DEX so these exchanges listed here are called the what the centralized exchange when you talk about centralized exchange these are exchanges in which the investor or the user does not have what total authority over his asset like they will always say if your coin is on Binance, the coin is not your coin. So you have to take those coin off those centralized exchange into a decentralized exchange for you to be the owner. So centralized exchange include Binance, Huboy, Bitfinex, FTS, Get.io, Bybit. So there are so many centralized exchanges out there. Okay. And Chain is listed on just these ones with so many more these are the ones they just put here they're listed on Bybit. they're listed on uh, uh what's it called so many exchanges okay kucoin and the rest so going forward Reef chain integrates the best aspect from most commonly used blockchains while maintaining what full smart contract com compatibility now something else while doing your research you need to ensure if the particular coin or cryptocurrency you are researching on is a coin or a token now when you talk about coins the coin coins and token are actually different and as a newbie most times they don't usually understand these words a coin is a cryptocurrency asset that has its own blockchain security back in it. Now, a blockchain security has to do with what? That has its own what? Its own unique security or unique means of what? Operation. So, a token is a cryptocurrency asset that is built on an already existing what? Security. So, Reef Chain, this cryptocurrency asset, you will call it a coin because it has its own what? Security, which is the Reef Chain. But there are some other coins that don't have their own security and they are listed on either Ethereum Chain or Bitcoin. No, no, no coins listed on Bitcoin. Or a Binance Smart Chain, that's BEP20 and so many others. Okay? So, so many shit coins are also listed on what on ethereum smart contract or binance smart contract all those they are called tokens take note okay so going forward now since you have found out that okay this particular coin is lit has its own security its own blockchain network it means okay it has an edge so this is one of the reasons you should want to consider what investing in this because it has its own word blockchain security. Introducing Reef Chain. Reef Chain is an EVM. When you hear the word EVM, it means Ethereum Virtual Word Machine, compatible blockchain for decentralized finance. DeFi. It is fast, scalable, and has what low transaction cost and does no and does no waste full mining. It is built with substrate framework and comes with on-chain governance. Now, when you hear the word EVM, it means Ethereum Virtual Machine. That means because of the high gas fee on Ethereum network, so many other networks have used the Solidity word language to build 
a similar what network that is almost the same with what ethereum so any coin that is evm compatible it means that what other coins or other tokens that are built under ethereum smart contract will also work under that particular coin that's what they mean by evm compatible blockchain okay so as you can see solidity port your existing application from ethereum to rift chain without modifying your solidity code that's because what they are similar the only difference is the low gas fee okay unlike that of what ethereum smart contract liquidity bridges rift staking so now in this particular coin you can actually stake the coin okay so they have validators that stake their coin now as a newbie when you hear that a coin could actually be staked this should also increase your confidence in that project because the more the coin that is staked the more security it has because when a coin is largely staked it means that what the coin is largely secured or highly secured because it can't be easily what hacked okay by the validators you understand because any validator that attempts to act to hack that particular coin could what lose his or her rewards now it is community governed which means Rift chain is built with upgradability and long-term sustainable on-chain governance in mind so it means the community has the what the voice to vote and decide whatsoever is happening what on the particular coin so introducing with chain the blockchain for next generation defi dApps. so as you can see with 20 tokens and nft so you can create your own token or port existing tokens onto Rift chain so it means what this is a very lovely project as you can see from all this you have been seeing it should give you some idea that okay this particular project could actually be worth what your time in doing more research on it because a particular a how will i put it they are trying to tell you that now they are with 20 which is their what their smart contract or their blockchain security you could actually create your coins under it okay just like other persons have created coins under ethereum smart contract the erc20 so you could create your coins or nft under what the with 20 and also you could provide liquidity liquidity bridges you understand then you could also what trade with 20 assets on decentralized exchanges so stable coins and money market hedge against volatility and end so all these are the things you go through you try to interact with it and understand what they have to offer to the community their use cases now these are among their use cases the decentralized exchanges you could create tokens so when tokens are being created they actually use what reef for what for transaction fees so it means that what more reefs will be will be used in the market that means the demand will be high which could what lead to what a spike in the price but then i'm just trying to teach you what how to do your own research remember this is not a financial what advice you should always do your own research just as i'm doing now so irrespective of the fact that i'm trying to teach you how to do your own research on the cryptocurrency market you should always learn to go outside of your own comfort zone and research further on any project that what is presented to you don't just jump into any project okay so going further we can go down to what these these are more so they operate on nominated proof of stake so validators are elected by nominators via npos at the end of every block production era the fragment validator elections are held so now for ethereum the current ethereum after the merge that occurred ethereum operates on what proof of stake okay so whatsoever is happening is the validators that what that are what that approve transaction whatsoever okay but here it's operating on nominated proof of stake so 
the validators are elected by nominators via the NPOS. So you understand? So going further, you can see that they have the reef chain incentivized technological progress in regards to scalability by removing fee market politics. So they burn what their fee. So the transaction fees that are acquired from each transaction that occur under the reef what blockchain, they usually what burn it. Okay. So now we go down to the investors. These are several investors that has invested in this particular what cryptocurrency asset ngc genesis block osn woodstock bitcoin.com so when you see that okay these are popular what investors that have come on board on this project then you could be like oh this has what some potential imagine seeing binance as among the investors in a particular project that will give you an edge over that project like it, it will boost your confidence to what to invest more in that project okay so now we'll go down to the tokenomics because like i told you tokenomics actually means token economics okay where it tells you the total supply of a coin the amount of coin that are allocated to the world to the community that are located to the team members, the amount that was sold during investing period or during the seed phase or during the strategic sale investor or private sale investor. So it shows you everything in 100% that you need to know. So as you can see, 20% of this particular coin is what community reserve fund, why 6% private sale investors for the private sale investors I've showed you up there, then 3% for Binance launch pool. The day they launched on Binance, they allocated 3% for all those who stay who what who staked their Binance to receive what 3% from the share of the 3% that was allocated to them. Then they have 3.5% lockup core nominators and also the strategic sale investor, the Reef Foundation. So all these are what the coins that are what how the token economics of this coin is allocated so you need to know this information before you jump into any coin so as you can see the total supply is 20 billion the private sale price was at this the strategic sale price was at this and the seed sale price was at this then state supply it means 38.2 percent of this coin what is out of circulation it has been staked so it means we're only operating with just 61.8 percent so it means that to some extent we could see a rally to the upside part of this coin that is we could see some pump when you notice that what a, a huge amount of this coin is out of what supply you understand so it means there could be hope for that project okay now you also what you would also take note of what some little things as you can see reef is a utility token on the reef network so their utility token what is reef when you hear the word utility token it means it's the native token that is being run on that particular what blockchain network now reef chain offers inflationary and deflationary mechanism with a feasible supply of reef what tokens so reef chain offers unique features such as reef npos so all these are the things you go through to understand what more about the coin you check the total supply reef chain token does not have a fixed supply so as you can see here this word right here is a turn off for me whenever a coin does not have fixed supply it means that more of that coin will be minted and produced constantly and when more of the coin is keep is being minted it means what it means that the price would, would keep falling you understand except when they have a means to what to burn off excess of the coin as more is being minted of which this particular project does so let's go down reef chain token does not have a fixed supply however the target supply at launch was approximately 20 billion Reef chain's fee bond model is deflationary in nature, which should, in principle, offset the governance and running cost of the chain. So, the unlimited, uh, yeah, of course. In as much as they don't have a fixed supply, they also what 
initiated what the fee bond. So with this, the little increase in or the little minting of their coin, there is also what deflationary mechanism put in place, burning it to always keep the what the coin in check, so that the coin does not exceed what the twenty billion mark. Because if it exceeds the twenty billion mark, then we have a lunar classic on us. Because when a coin is being produced more and more it what it affects the value of that coin but when the coin is being produced and also a mechanism is put in place to burn up other ones that are being produced it means the coin will do well on a long run now we we'll check also the liquidity supply as you can see it's under what the ethereum smart contract is under the what the binance what smart contract and the reef what smart contract so reef tokens have been initially deployed on ethereum binance and what reef itself these tokens need to be convertible so users can swap them for reef chain native token and vice versa so you see that this particular project has what a lot of what potentials now when you check the investor supply usually there's something called vesting period it means is the period in which a particular coin will be released to all the investors at a certain date so as you can see the final batch of investor tokens is to be distributed february 25th it has already been distributed now this supply is included in a total supply now this i'll tell you is a what is a good sign for me when looking for projects because once the vesting period for all the uh, investors has already been achieved it means because when they re release these coins to the investors what they usually do what the investors usually do they sell off and when they sell off massively there's a decline in price now this is february 25th 2022 and we are currently making this video in what in november 5th november 4th 2022 so it means that in a space of eight months I you would assume that what the investors have already sold off whatsoever they want to sell and it could have led to the dump in price that occurred in this coin because there was a massive dump in price. So let's check the what let's check the coin market cap uh the coin market cap what uh what's it called candle pattern and let's see how the price rallied from February till date. So that you will understand what i'm trying to tell you so as you can see this was this was november okay so if you check very well you will understand that there was some decline you understand decline massive decline in price okay so if we are to assume that the investors started selling off at this point you will understand that when it got to this point which was what 2022 may it means the price stabilized between may to what between may to to september okay so before we started seeing some rally in the upward direction which is an uptrend okay so i would assume that what the investors have finished selling off whatsoever they want to sell and we could be on our road to some bullish what movement okay so going further the reef fee bond statistics all activity on reef chains such as minting or selling nft trading tokens and transacting on chain as associated fees the reef token used for fees are continuously bound to a set validator rewards. Now, the bond statistics are available on Reef, chain, reef Scan. Now, Reef Scan is where you see everything that happened what in the Reef what blockchain. Every transaction that is being processed and also uh, the addresses, the transaction hash and everything that is related to what that particular transaction because remember is a blockchain and blockchain gives you anonymity but the proof of the transaction will always be available and recorded on the space so once more i feel i should have been able to what to guide you on what to look out for 
while doing your own research. The first thing you have to look out for is what the 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 cryptocurrency asset website. Does it have a standard website? The second thing you have to look out for is what the utility. What are the utility that particular coin has to offer you? Then the third thing you need to look out for is what the token economics, which is called the tokenomics. Under this tokenomics, you check for the token's total supply, the circulating supply, okay? And also, you check for the what? The coins that are staked. How many of the token or the currency or the, the cryptocurrency asset that is being staked? Then also, you, what you need to look out for is the, what? The, the algorithm that it's operating on. Is it a proof of stake algorithm or is it a what? A a proof of what mining that means you, the validators actually mine for them to process transaction or do they stake their what their assets for them to process transaction so i believe i have been able to extensively break down how to do your own research for you if you actually love this video i would really appreciate you give us a thumbs up and you subscribe to our youtube channel and also you share our channel to your friends for them to learn how to do their own research to avoid being what in the wrong project okay so once again thank you for what for watching this video and goodbye